honey has been generally considered a commodity in North America. And then it's all the same. Everything on the supermarkets looks the same. It's not. It is much more like wine. It depends on the flowers it comes from. It depends on the weather that you had that year. So you can have honey that looks quite different. And, and beekeepers know that. You've seen that your moisture content is different, your color is different, it tastes different. We've seen that before, but it hasn't been treated that way. When I was looking at the, the techniques, it was very clear that the existing methods weren't working. And uh, the food screener had been coming along right there. It had, it had a, its first iteration of the database and it was pretty good. I, when I was doing it, I actually sent off some samples to Brooker and I kind of cheated a little bit. I stuck in some things that they didn't know. I uh, made, it, made it pretty blind and didn't tell them and they came back with the right answers. There was no question about it. And it was also clear talking to the people at Brooker that they really understood the data really well. One of the nice things about NMR is that the sample preparation is really straightforward. It takes uh, very little, you're not changing the honey a lot, so you know that it looks like that. It basically, you do a, a small dilution, you remove uh, a few of the larger particles out of that, and then you do a pH on it. You can do a sample in half a day. I sent off 48 samples for uh, Syrah, and it's taken about two weeks for them to get through it. Those same 48 samples we can do in a day. I would definitely like to see food fraud taken more seriously. Often the regulatory agencies don't consider anything to be too significant unless there is some sort of health break. And we've seen that in honey. There's been incidents where antibiotics have been found in it when it's imported in that. But it's time for the regulatory agencies to become much more proactive and attack this head on because it's not just honey, it's all foods are being adulterated right now. In the end, it is what is in that final jar of honey. What is that that's going out to that family that's, that's throwing it on their toast in the morning? Sampling that, random sampling, so that uh, it's found there, you know, it's, it's not that hard to do that. And with, uh, with the food screener, we can, we can get you results right away there and you can address the problem. The, the cycle in a supermarket is only five to six weeks before everything turns over. It's too easy if scammers know that, all that stuff will disappear if you're not, you're not moving at an incredibly fast rate. You need to get the answers to your tests in less than a week so that you can address it right on the spot and pull that stuff and get this fake food off the shelves.